No Legend of Zelda game is complete without the retrieval of Link's iconic Master Sword, and Tears of the Kingdom is no different. There is actually several ways to claim the weapon, and a few dabble in spoilers, so consider this your warning. Despite there being several methods, they all amount to the same thing, which is the removal of the Master Sword from the head of the giant light dragon roaming around Hyrule. If you're lucky enough to stumble upon the magnificent beast during your playthrough, then feel free to launch yourself up there and claim the Master Sword whenever you see fit. The only thing that you need to have prepared in advance is two full stamina circles, as that is the strength that you're required to have to pull the sword from the dragon. If you don't happen to come across a dragon though, or it's not in an optimal position during your playthrough, there are two other methods that will result in a tracking marker being placed, making finding the location of the dragon infinitely easier. Here's how you do it. When following the main quest, you'll actually be presented with a quest to find the Master Sword, after completing Guidance from Ages Past. The quest, titled Trail of the Master Sword, ultimately points you in the direction of talking to the Deku Tree in the Korok Forest. Sounds simple enough, right? Well, unlike in Breath of the Wild, the forest isn't accessible from the fields of Hyrule, and can only be accessed by taking a detour into the depths. Navigate your way to the Manishi Woods, which can be found slightly northeast of Hyrule Castle, and dive into the chasm. Carefully venture your way through the depths in a northwest direction, until you find the Rikko Nazam Light Route. And right next to it, you'll find the roots of the Deku Tree, and a stone structure that allows you to ascend into the Korok Forest. Although you've arrived at the Deku Tree, you'll notice that he's feeling a little under the weather, and you must next descend into the chasm that's inside to help him with the unpleasantness and to get him chatting. Before doing so though, make sure you're prepared for a fight, as you're about to come face to face with a tricky Phantom Ganon. Hit the Phantom Ganon with everything that you've got, and once he's defeated you'll free the Great Deku Tree from his severe case of gloomy guts. Return to the tree, and he'll now be willing to share that exact location of the dragon and the Master Sword. The other method also involves receiving an exact location for the Light Dragon, and is achieved by finding all 12 Dragon Tears that are located around Hyrule. The Dragon Tears are sourced by finding the Geoglyphs, the giant imagery that's shaped into the lands that you've no doubt noticed already. For exact locations of all 12, keep watching to the end, but once you find them all, along with being treated to memories of what happened to Princess Zelda, you'll also be given the tracker for the dragon for you to once again land onto it and, providing that you have two full stamina circles, claim your rightful property. For more guides on Tears of the Kingdom, be sure to stick with IGN, and remember to keep watching if you want the exact location for all 12 Dragon Tears.
Thank <laughs> you. 